the most in my life They say you're out of my league But I don't give a damn No, deep down I know you want it You wanna take a leap and jump in Oh, oh, oh You wanna fall in love Hey guys, thank you for watching. So this is a quick overview of my vanity and on top of my vanity I have this cute Starbucks cup right here. Then I also keep some of my most used palettes like my self-made hot pot palettes from Coastal Scents. I also have the Morphe 350 both shimmery and matte palettes. And at the back, I also have this BH Cosmetic. Then I also keep a MAC bag and this cute candle holder for display. And the thing that I keep my palettes in are actually from the kitchen section at Ikea. It is for drying your plates. Then moving right, I have all my brushes and I love to store them in this pot plants from Ikea as well. So I have some face brushes, some eye brushes, and I just tied this cute little black ribbon around them because course I thought it looked cute. Then right for that again I have a candle from Bat & Body Work, a empty perfume bottle just for display and this vase right here and I just printed out the Chanel sticker to have it on because I thought it looked gorgeous. Then moving left for the vanity I have two of my Alex 5 drawers as you can see I have added some knots which I love because it's easier to open them and I've also labeled each drawer so I know what's in them. So on top of these two Alex drawers, I just have some cute items displayed because you know me, I love to decorate, I love to like make my room look cozy and nice. So on the top, I keep two candles from Ikea, which smells vanilla. And I also have this Voolup Spa Crisp Champagne Candle, this Benefit Bag and two body lotions from Bat & Body Work. And also this gorgeous picture frame with a picture of me and a friend. And in the back, I also have two champagne bottles because you you know me I love it so in the first drawer in my Alex unit I keep all my blushes and some of my highlighters and these boxes are actually glossy boxes so I've just cut them and made them fit in this drawer and I think it looks so cute with the pink so in the front here I keep my Becca Jaclyn Hill edition highlighters as you probably saw in my New York haul I have the champagne pop and also the champagne splits then at the back here I also have a highlighter from Dior, this is special edition and I'm so sad because I love it. Then I also have some MUA, some blushes from Primark, we have the Balm Mary Luminizer, some Milani blushes. Here I also have some of my favorite NARS blushes, ELF, Lancome, Lancome and Dior. And in this box right here I keep a bunch of different ones like Milani, Heart Candy, blushes, highlighters, you name it. It's a little bit of everything and in this last section right here I keep my liquid highlighters like the H&M Go To Glow and also this 17 Skin Wow highlighter and some shimmery drops. So in this next drawer here I keep all my concealers, setting sprays, primers, you name it and in this section right here I just have a bunch of different concealers like the Kaplan D, the white one. I am so excited to try it. I have some NYX. I have the clean color skin Yuri, which I'm excited to try out. I have more NYX, So Susan, Maybelline, Makeup Mecca, and just a bunch of different brands of concealers. Then in the next section, I keep more of my high-end ones, like my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is my favorite of all time. I also have two of the Kat Von D Lockheed Concealer. I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And I also have this Makeup Forever All Matte Primer, which is my favorite if you have oily skin. And then I have a MAC concealer, the MAC Paint Pod, and just some NYX concealers in a jar. Then all the way in the back here, I keep all my setting sprays like the Smashbox Primer Water, my NYX setting spray, the Urban Decay Oil Control setting spray, of course, my MAC Fix Plus, which I love. I also have some of my eyeshadow primers here like Urban Decay, I have the Balm, some from Makeup Mecca and Absolute New York. Then I also have the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Spray here. I love this you guys, especially if you have oily skin. And then I just have a bunch of different primers like Maybelline, Makeup Mecca, NYX, 
and just a bunch of random brands like Laura Mercier, Smashbox. So in this next drawer I have all my contour palettes and some bronzers and highlighters as well and this is one of my favorite. This is from Guerlain. I love this especially for some of you guys. Then I just have some bronzers from NYC, NYX, Makeup Mecca and also BH Cosmetic and this is my favorite setting powder so far. This is from RCMA. Then I also have two of the new Tarte highlighting palette and contour palette. I have the Marc Jacobs contour palette, a Narcissus palette, the LA Colors. I also have the Kat Von D shade in light palette and in the back I also keep my NYX contour palette. Then in this section right here I keep all my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette like the cream contour palettes and also the powder one. I also have this makeup mecca one which I love. As you can see this is the quad and I've hit pan on my favorite shade. In the next section I keep more of my contour and also bronzer so I have like Makeup Mecca, the Balm Bahama Mama, I also have the Bourjois Chocolate Palette, another Makeup Mecca, I also have the Wet n Wild Contour Powder Palette and in the back I have the contour sticks both from Wet n Wild and also from Smashbox. And last but not least in this drawer I have more highlighters, I have like Makeup Mecca highlighters, I have H&M and also this one from Urban Decay which is the Naked Illuminating Powder. I am obsessed you guys. So in this next drawer I have more powders, I have like loose setting powders, I have bronzers, I have like regular powders as well and as you can see I have a majority of random ones. I have the Bare Mineral Translucent Powder, I have the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder, a Lori Mercier Setting Powder in Translucent, I have the NYX HD Powder, the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, then to the right side I have more loose setting powders like MUA, I have Rimmel, more MUA and also all these four are actually from a makeup mecca. Then I also have a NARS Laguna bronzer, a big one because I'm obsessed. Then I have another Laguna bronzer. Then I also have this setting powder from NARS which is a powder setting powder and it looks like this, it's translucent. Then I have another Laguna bronzer, of course I need my backups as you guys know. Then I just have a powder from Chanel, another one from Chanel. Then I also have this one from YSL which I really love for summer as well. Then in this section I just have a bunch of different powders like L'Oreal Primarks, I have some Wet n Wild, I have this from H&M which I bought because it was so cute. Then I have more powders from Wet n Wild like all these five ones are from Wet n Wild. Then I have like Maybelline, Rimmel, the Stay Matte which is one of my favorites when it comes to drugstore and just MUA and yeah just a bunch of different ones. So moving on to the last drawer in this unit I keep all my high-end foundations as you can see I have the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel one, I have two of my Matte Lumiere foundations from Chanel and I have four of the Perfection Lumiere from Chanel. Like you can see my obsession, you can see that I love it, it's all in the same shade. Then I also have five of the Kat Von D Lucky foundation but these are in different shades like I have two in 48, two in 49 and one in 52. Then I also have two of the NARS foundation, one for when I'm tan and one for my normal skin tone. Then all the way in the back I have three Dior foundations. I have two of the Dior Forever and also one Dior Star. I love these. These are in different shades as well. Then I have a Too Faced foundation, a Too Faced Beauty Balm and also the Estee Lauder double wear foundation as well. And as you've probably noticed by now, I love to keep everything in the packaging because I have such a huge OCD for like having everything nice and organized. So moving on to the first drawer in my second Alex unit, here I keep some of my drugstore foundations, like as you can see I probably have a majority of Maybelline foundations like the Better Skin, the Superstay 24 Hour, I have the Fit Me foundations, I have 
this spray foam from Maybelline as well. I actually haven't tried it yet. Then I also have a CC cream from L'Oreal and a BB cream from Garnier as well. And in the back here, I have two of the Fit Me matte foundations in two different shades. And I also have two in the glass bottle as well, which I bought in New York. And then I have a Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse, some L'Oreal Infallible foundations, and also some Rimmel. Then moving on to the second draw, I have more foundations. Can you believe it? I am a foundation hoarder, as you probably can see. So I just cleared out space to a new drugstore draw. So here I keep my L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation, some Milani foundation. I also have the Revlon for oily and combination skin. I have the L'Oreal True Match, some from Wet n Wild and also H&M. And this next drawer is making me crazy, you guys. This is a total chaos. And I just have some candles, some knots, and some fabric, and just a bunch of random stuff. Then in the fourth drawer, I keep some of my special effect makeups. Like I have all my blood on this side right here. I have some makeup sponges, bandages, some castor oil, and spirit gum. I have my liquid latex and all like my face paints and wax and stuff that I use when I play around with my special effects. So that is what I keep in this drawer right here. Then moving on to the last drawer in the second unit, here I keep more special effect makeup stuff like oil, bandages, some tape, I have some wounds that I have created which I can use again, I have some yarn, some glycerol, some like sculpting things for making bones and stuff and gelatin and just some paper tissues and just everything that I use when I make like wounds and stuff and it is so much fun so I can wait for Halloween. Then moving away from those drawers right there, I have three more Alex drawers. So to start with what's on top of the third Alex drawer that I have, I have this wood tray here which I really love and I love to display things in my beauty room. I will also do a room tour next week so be sure to stay tuned. But in this wine glass I have my LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Glosses. I love them, I love the colors, but the only thing is that they can be a little bit drying. Then in the back here I have my NYC lip lacquers. I love these nude colors, these are also some of my favorite favorites. And in this pink glass I have more of my drugstore liquid lipsticks like the MUA Luxe Velvet Lip Lacquers and the red color, you have probably seen me use it a million times. It is called Reckless and it's one of my favorites. And then I also have a NYC lip lacquer as well. Then behind all those liquid lipsticks, I just have some creams like the Benefit, Estee Lauder, this Night Advance Repair Drops. I have the NARS Skin Serum. I also have a Dior Moisturizer, the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water, which I love for when I'm filming and stuff. And of course, I also have my MAC brush cleanser, which is my fave. Then moving on to the first drawer in my third unit. Here I keep some of my lipsticks, eyeliners, lip balms, lip glosses. So here I have some eyeliners from a bunch of different brands like MAC, Estee Lauder, Urban Decay, Claudia, NYX. I just have a bunch of different ones. Then I have all my lipsticks from Viva La Diva, which contains vitamin E. I love it. It's so good for your lips. Then I also have some Jordana lipstick. These are the sheen ones. And I also have all the matte ones up here. And in these sections right here, I have like EOS, baby lips and some lip balms, lip glosses and stuff like that. Then in the second drawer here I have mostly of my drugstore lipsticks which are not displayed. I have like NYX, I have LA Girl, Makeup Mecca, Rimmel, Lola and here are all my Wet n Wild matte lipsticks. Then I have Rimmel, Elf, and Big Buck, L'Oreal, and just a random one. So in this fourth drawer, I have some of my school stuff, like backups, like baby wipes, cotton pads, soap, paper tissues, and just stuff like that. So this is going to be filled sometime. 
And in the last drawer in this unit, I just have some nail stuff and I also have a backup of my favorite perfume and just a bunch of different things like nail polish remover, hand cream and just a lot of cute things for your nails. So now moving on to the last two Alex drawers which I have in the bottom drawer. I just keep a lot of new products like giveaway products, gifts and just a bunch of new makeup that I still haven't tried out. So the same goes for this drawer as well but here I keep all my like hair and body care so as you can see i have a lot of like products that i never have time to try out yet so if i'm going to try out a new product i usually tend to go to these drawers right here and in the third drawer as well as you can see like i have a lot of new products which i haven't tried and also some giveaway products for my new giveaway which will be at 5k so i'm so so excited so you get a little sneak peek and in the fourth drawer, as you can see, I have just gotten a new container. I've made space for more lipids. So these are the Kylie lip kits which I got from AliExpress. I still haven't had time to film a review video which I was supposed to so if you guys want me to do it please leave it down below but the container is from Ikea. It is actually from the kitchen section where you can have like knives and fork but they actually fit perfect if you just cut out the edge which I was so happy about because I've been looking for something that fits in the Alex drawers for so so long. Then moving on to the last drawer in this unit, here I have more of my like high-end or liquid lipsticks. So as you can see, I have the Boxum like lip creams, lip polish, and also liquid lipsticks. I haven't tried them yet, so I just got them. Then I also have some of my favorite ColourPop lippies. I also have four of the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. I have two of my Marc Jacobs favorite lipsticks right here. I have Too Faced, Marc Jacobs, I have Stila Makeup Store and also a like Benefit and NARS lip pencil I think. And above that I also have more of the Colourpop liquid lipsticks and then I have the NARS pencil as I told you about and also this Estee Edit black lipstick which I am excited to try out. I am just beyond like I don't have words. Then in the back here I also have some dose of color liquid lipsticks which I got from AliExpress as well. I think I paid three dollar each and more of the Kylie metallic matte lipsticks. I also have some H&M like lip mousses and lip polishes and stuff. Then moving on to the last Alex unit. In the first drawer I have like eye products like eyeliners, mascaras and brow products as well. So I have a bunch of different random liquid eyeliners and in this Anastasia pouch I have some of my brow products like Anastasia Dip Brow, I have like the Clear Brow Gel, I have a Primark pencil, I have the Wet n Wild kit, I also have like an Isadora brow highlighter, some tweezers. Then I also have this perfect dupe for the Anastasia brow whisk. I love it. And in this section, I have like a bunch of different pencil liners like Urban Decay. I have NYX. I have Estee Lauder. I have like a bunch of different ones like glitter eyeliners as well. And in this section, I keep all my mascara that are currently open that I use. Like I have a bunch of different brands here as well like Estee Lauder and all my faves and in the back I also have backups of my most used like the Estee Lauder, Elizabeth Arden, Lancome, YSL, you name it. Then in this last section I have more brow products. I have the L'Oreal Artist Brow Mascara. I also have the Benefit Bigger Bolder Brows and then I have four of the pomades from Makeup and Mecca and all the way in the back I also have a backup of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip brow pomade in blonde. Then in the second drawer I have more palettes. These are more like drugstore or like more less expensive palettes like I have two here from Isadora and these containers are also from the kitchen section at Ikea so I recommend to go and check it out. You only need to cut off the edges. 
Then I also have some palettes from Makeup Mecca. As you can see, I have all my like mineral eyeshadows here. A self-made palette from Makeup Mecca. I have the BH Wild Child, a sleek palette, the Naked Urban Decay on the Run palette, BH Party Girl, NYX, and also a bunch of different ones. Then in this drawer right here, I keep more of my higher end palettes. Or palettes that I use a lot more like the benefit how to look the best at everything palette I have two of these sleek highlighting palettes I have the Too Faced chocolate bar palettes the Viva La Diva dream cheek which is a highlighting palette then I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills modern renaissance palette the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette. I have this Elizabeth Arden Special Edition Collector one, which I love the shadows on. A Asti Lauder, a Smashbox palette. To the Bomb, like the Nude Tude and the Nude Dude. Then the Bomb Rockstar palette and also the Lorac palette. So then moving on to the last drawer with makeup on in my fifth Halix drawer. I have some of my single eyeshadows and quads and stuff like that. So on the left side, I have the majority of my high end. So I have a few Dior shadows, Chanel shadows, and my Wet n Wild quads, which I am loving. And I also have a Bare Mineral one. As you can see, I'm not that huge on single eyeshadows. So I just have a bunch of different brands like Maybelline color tattoos, I have some NYX ones, I have some makeup store ones, some Essence ones, I have Milani, I have a bunch like Isadora, I have the L'Oreal Infallible and just yeah just a lot of lot of like random eyeshadows because I'm not huge on them. I love to have palettes because it's so much easier to travel with and bring with you. Then next to the Alex drawers, I just have these two shelves here, which are filled with pretty much shoes, but I still wanted to show you this lipstick organizer right here, where I keep some of my lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, and so on. So I have NYX, H&M, I have the Smashbox O Plump, which I love. I also have some MAC lipsticks. I have all my Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid lipsticks. I have some Kylie lip glosses. I have some more lip glasses and then I also have the NYX lingerie liquid lipsticks which are some of my faves from the drugstore and then I also have the NYX liquid suede which are my faves and they are soft spoken and also sandstorm I love them I love the quality they doesn't dry map but still they are gorgeous and this coffee mug are from the Empire State Building. As you have probably saw in my haul, I will go more in depth about everything here in my beauty room tour. So be sure to stay tuned. Then I also keep some more liquid lipsticks in this cute pink candle holder which I got at a store called Rusta. But anyway, these are the clean color Madly Matte Metallic Lipsticks. And oh my God, you guys, I'm going to do a review and swatch video of these because they are gorge. So we are almost done, you guys. I only have these two shelves left that I wanted to show you because I have the majority of my lipsticks displayed in my beauty room. So therefore, I thought it was important to kind of show you those as well. So don't you worry, I will make a room tour. It will be up next week. So you will get to see everything that I have in my beauty room plus all the furniture and I will also make a blog post on where you can buy it. But in this shelf, I have some more palettes like contour palettes and some morphe eyeshadow palettes like the ones that i use for my halloween looks and very bright palettes and stuff then i also have these letters that i diy'd i painted them gold added some glitter and the palette display are also a diy i have a video up on my channel so i will leave a link up in the corner then i have these two cute diamond lights then a candle of course it's vanilla and then i also have this price which i won't add halloween 
for best costume. Yay! So in this lipstick display, I keep nine lipsticks. So these are from Estee Lauder. These are from their collection that they give out every Christmas. So they are a special edition, but they are kept in this acrylic container right here. Then I also have this drama queen sign, which I got in Hollywood as a souvenir. I love souvenirs, you guys. And then I also have these two diamond lights. And then last but not least, I know I speak way too much. Here I have more lipsticks. These are mostly YSL and Chanel. And then I also have some Elizabeth Arden ones in the front there. But I also keep some other makeup products like this Chanel powder. I also have some brushes. I have two of the YSL concealers. I have more YSL lipsticks in the back right there. And then I have like the... Rouge Couture lipsticks on the top row and then I also have the Volops lipsticks as well which are so creamy and I really love them. Moving on I have two empty iPhone cases which I'm not using at the moment and then I also have two of the Victoria's Secret Body Fragrance Misters. I am obsessed with these. I love to spray them in their, my room. They smell so good. And then at the last container right here, I have all my Chanel lipsticks. This is my favorite, favorite one. I am obsessed. And then I also have three Elizabeth Arden ones in the front right there. Then I also have this Karl Lagerfeld picture, which I DIY'd some body butter and also some nail polishes in this cute coffee mug. And that was the whole makeup collection from early 2017. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you still haven't subscribed. And be sure to stay tuned for my beauty room tour, which will be up on Wednesday. And when that's been said, I love you guys so much. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!